Originally, I was going to talk about how social media ruined entertainment for the whole world, but I'm going to put that on hold because we have a serious situation that needs to be discussed. Understandably, Mr. Medicare, Mudahar, Penguin Zero, and a bunch of other people are pissed off at Boogie2988. I'm going to give my perspective on Boogie2988 as a fascist to talk about why Boogie is a fraud. Unlike Jim, I'm going to approach this thing a little more diplomatically in hopes as to why Boogie should no longer be on the internet. To give a backstory for modern day viewers, Stephen J. Williams joined YouTube as Boogie2988 on April 5th, 2006. He was here before guys like James Rolfe of Cinemassacre, The Archfiend, Armic21, God rest his soul, Emma Prevost, God rest his soul, Geriatric1927, God rest his soul, Junior Fan, and my buddy T-Bone2004. Boogie got popular for two things. Number one, the Francis character, which unfortunately imitated Boogie's real-life instability. Number two, his random comedic videos that went viral. Now, you would think that with the meteoric YouTube channel and a wife that helped him manage his life, he would be humble enough to get his life together and get off the internet to live a more humble life. But no, as Boogie got more popular, stories about Boogie being abusive would come out. And I think the downfall of Boogie began in 2017 when his wife Desiree divorced him. It was not the fact that he lost weight and gained a little more mobility that drove her toward leaving him. It was more the fact that Boogie abused his wife verbally to where she said, I'm out, you're on your own. The moment Boogie's wife left him, that was when the money started leaving him too. Boogie's wife was not just a caretaker. She was also in a sense Boogie's accountant, meaning she managed Boogie's money at the peak of his excess on YouTube. Whether it was YouTube or other business ventures, Boogie had something going. Boogie would admit to being abusive toward his wife, driving her to divorce. There are two justifications for divorce in my opinion. Abuse and infidelity. Yes, verbal abuse is abuse. It's just as bad as physical abuse because even though you're not physically beating someone, verbal abuse can increase the risk of the victim being suicidal. After the divorce, Boogie started buying stuff that made no sense whatsoever. Arcade cabinets, toys, cards, etc. But there are two infamous moments that will haunt Boogie for the rest of his life. Investing a good chunk of his money in cryptocurrency, which is a red flag in itself, and wasting money on prostitutes from Los Angeles. I can see why Boogie wanted to invest in cryptocurrency, but I'm more offended at the fact that he spent a tremendous amount of money on prostitutes from a corrupt city in California. Why? He could have had a harem of redneck women in Arkansas willing to have sex with him for free. Yeah. Boogie was a major celebrity in Arkansas, and women in that state would have been willing to have a good time with him. According to the Boogie documentary, Boogie admitted to spending $200,000 between 2018 and 2021 on prostitutes from Los Angeles. Again, why? Like I said, Boogie could have had a harem of redneck women in Arkansas willing to get it on with him. I'm not saying go out there and chase some random redneck woman that happens to be a fan of yours. I'm saying be humble, talk to a woman with respect, have a warm personality, meaning have a friendship and see if it evolves into a relationship. Then if the woman consents to sexual relations, you hit the jackpot and you save $200,000 in the process. Do you lack morals, Boogie? Because any man with common sense would not spend $200,000 on sex when you could get it for free with common sense and patience. Things would get worse for Boogie when cryptocurrency had a boom period in 2020. Boogie would invest in what he believed to be his life savings. At this point, Boogie's finances were on the decline due to his inability to live frugal following his divorce. But this was where Boogie's finances spiraled out of control. When Boogie lost all of his savings in crypto, he started asking his fans for a donation so he could buy a Tesla car. Tesla does not have a good reputation for two reasons. Number one, their cars are fully computerized, which is unreliable in an emergency situation. Number two, Elon Musk does not abide by the principles of scientific innovator Nikola Tesla. Factor in Boogie's medical expenses, his personal expenses like his bills and house notes, then Boogie spending money like crazy every month, you can see why Boogie is in major debt. I will explain from a fascist perspective on how Boogie could change his life later. Recently, Boogie2988 promoted a meme crypto called Fatty Coin. This was supposed to be his joke coin just like how Dogecoin started. But here's the thing, Dogecoin caught on if you observed CoinMarketCap.com. Dogecoin went from 0 .003 cents, not even one cent, per coin, to 65 cents at its peak in 2021. Meaning if you put your life savings in Dogecoin and cashed out in the peak in 2021, you were enormously wealthy. Dogecoin currently goes for nearly 11 cents a coin now. 
Fatty Coin went for a few pennies, and considering Boogie's enormous fan base, Boogie knew that he was going to take the money and cash out. This is scamming at its finest. He promoted this scam on YouTube, a violation of terms of service. In my opinion, Boogie should be banned from YouTube for promoting this scam. Does this constitute a securities violation? Yes. This is fraud punishable by one year for a misdemeanor and up to 30 years for a felony. We do not know the severity of the fraud, so likely if the federal government arrested and convicted Boogie, he could serve one year in federal prison. As a fascist, I abhor Boogie for the following reasons. Wasting $200,000 on prostitutes. Wasting thousands of dollars on arcade cabinets. Playing video games to the detriment of his finances. Wasting money on cards with little value. Wasting money on junk food even after his bariatric surgery for the intention of losing weight. Wasting money on crypto. Forced to spend exorbitant amounts of money on medicine that does not help matters, etc. If Boogie was smart, he would help out his community instead of helping himself and asking his own fans for help. He would not be dependent on a 20-year-old woman who looks more like a sex slave than a girlfriend. There is a reason why Mr. Medicker did a live stream on short notice, because Boogie laughed at scamming people while claiming to have cancer. Normally, Medicker is a man that loves to take the piss out of people for laps. Very seldom is Jim a serious guy. Brian Connors and Terry A. Davis were two examples of Jim being serious while compassionate as well. Other times when Jim is serious, it's because he's pissed at people that scam, lie, mess with children, kill for no reason. Boogie is at his all-time low at age 50. This man is 50 years old and failing miserably. I don't like to call big name users failures, but when it's pointed out why these people are failures, I talk about it as well. Santa Massacre was a failure because of an abysmal movie and bad business deals. Dr. Disrespect and EDP 445 are failures because they solicited with minors. Illuminati is a failure because she made a false allegation and would not accept responsibility for something that was not a big deal. Colleen Ballinger is a failure because she groomed minors and is now relegated to vlogs only. Popularity comes with a price. But if you stay humble, accept responsibility for your mistakes, and not harm anyone, your failures will be very little compared to these people. Boogie2988 might be on the precipice of 4 million subscribers, but his finances are abysmal. Boogie is a man-child like Ethan Ralph and Chris Chan. You know what's funny about Boogie, Ethan Ralph, Chris Chan, and even Nick Ricada? These were people with followings that went to jail. Boogie for aggravated assault, Ethan Ralph for assault, Chris Chan for incest against his mother, a class 5 felony in the Commonwealth of Virginia and Nick Ricada for possession of 25 grams of cocaine or methamphetamine, a felony in Minnesota. In the case of Boogie, aggravated assault in Arkansas is a Class D felony, punishable by up to six years in prison. I will not go into Ralph's assault case, you can look it up for yourself. In the case of Christian, incest is a Class 5 felony, punishable by up to 10 years in the Commonwealth of Virginia. I've already made an in-depth video about Nick Ricada's charges, so I will link that in the description. All of Boogie's failures are coming back to bite him and it's going to result in three things. Either Boogie facing a terms of service violation, ending his 18 year career on YouTube, his stress levels hospitalizing him, or he gets arrested for securities fraud. But now I want to discuss an alternative timeline because this would have been a better timeline if Boogie2988 got his act together. In an alternative timeline, Boogie found motivation following his divorce. Instead of spending his money outright, Boogie would hire an accountant and give his accounting guidelines on what is acceptable to spend and not spend. So for every time he wanted a nice expensive toy, he would contact his accountant and try to withdraw the money, but the toy is not within the guidelines according to his accountant. Every time Boogie got angry, the accountant would talk him down and remind him of his financial responsibilities. Boogie continues making entertaining content even after his divorce. Then he catches wind of the booming crypto market. Boogie contacts his accountant and it's immediately shot down. The accountant suggests that Boogie pays off his house. Boogie actually listens to the accountant and pays off the house. Then Boogie decides to sell off his most valuable possessions, remodel the house, and put the house up for sale. Boogie sells his house for $500,000, netting a $225,000 profit. Boogie decides to use that money to buy property out in the boondocks for $20,000, building a modest house for $100,000. With $380,000 left over, Boogie puts the money away and starts living more frugal. By the time his days of money making on the internet dwindles, Boogie is a wealthy man and decides to sell merchandise to make a living. Subsequently in 2021, in this alternative timeline, Boogie is a millionaire and an amazing success. After his 15th anniversary, he decides to end his YouTube channel, going out on a high note. 
lives the rest of his life selling merchandise and finding love again. I really wish this was the alternative timeline, because that would have been awesome. Instead, he has his house that he can't pay off, he has enormous bills to pay, his medical expenses are through the roof, and he is dependent on a 20-year-old woman to take care of basic responsibilities. Is there a possibility that Boogie can reverse his financial situations? Yes. Now I'm going to the board to point out what could save Boogie from winding up on the streets. Number one, get rid of your entire arcade cabinet collection. If you really want to play video games from the good old days, I can recommend places that you can go on for free. Arcade Spot, RetroGames.cc, RetroGames.cz, RetroGames.onl. You'd be surprised what video games you can play for free. Those arcade cabinets are costing you a fortune to operate when you can go on a desktop computer and play those same games for free. Number two, quit eating junk food. Even after your bariatric surgery, you still have not grasped what foods are acceptable and unacceptable on your diet. That means no soda pop, no Starbucks, unless you're drinking black coffee, no fried food, no snacks, and no sweets of any kind. My personal suggestion is go on a carnivore diet. Why? Meat does not spike your blood sugar. Animal fat does not spike your blood sugar. You can watch dozens of videos from Dr. Ken Berry on how to lose weight on a carnivore diet and reverse your medical symptoms to where you don't need prescription drugs anymore. Yes, I believe prescription drugs are a scam compared to liquor or pot. If you can successfully reverse the list of illnesses from a carnivore diet, your medical bills will vanish, allowing for you to save money again. I would suggest doing your own research. Number three, do some basic exercises to improve your cardio and mobility. You don't need a membership. You can use your girlfriend to coach you into good health. That alone will save you $500 a year to get healthy. Going carnivore and exercising on a daily basis not only saves you enormous sums of money, but your health will improve, your mobility improves, and even your sex life will get much better. Live on processed meats. Try the BBBE experiment. Beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Or try the strictest form of carnivore for 60 days, the lion diet. Beef, salt, and water only. If you do try the lion diet, you gotta live on beef only for those 60 days. You can lose 60 pounds effortlessly with that and exercise alone. Ground beef, steaks, or even beef liver. Not only will you save hundreds of dollars a month on your food bill, but you could also save in gas for your vehicle because you are reducing your dependence on transportation for unhealthy foods. Number four, sell your most valuable possessions and start catching up on your bills. Not only will you alleviate your financial situations, but you will also have peace of mind. You gotta convert from a materialist to a minimalist if you want to survive. It's a hard thing transitioning from being a big name to living frugal, but this was your doing, Boogie. This is the only way you could get out of this long term. Not only that, but if your girlfriend wants something nice, you gotta tell her no 98% of the time. Number five, this could be a very controversial example. Get rid of your animals. Put them up for sale and downsize. Again, minimalism is the only way out of this situation for you, Boogie. If you and your girlfriend want at least one animal in your house, no harm, no foul. But judging by how many animals you have in your house, it is unacceptable. The cost alone to feed and care for these animals costs a lot of money. Considering you cannot afford the basics because of your lack of budgeting, this is exactly what you have to do. Finally, budget your money up front every month. This means after you sell your arcade cabinets and other electrical suckers, pay your bills up front. Electrical, water, phone, etc. Then pay your house note with the money you make on YouTube every month. Then live on a carnivore diet for two months eating at home. The savings will add up on that alone. Do your exercises at home so you don't spend money on a gym membership. Sell your possessions so you have a contingency plan to pay your bills if something goes wrong. Get rid of the animals. I figure by doing what I suggested, you can save a couple of thousand dollars and improve your health at the same time every month. You do not need to go to extremes to make money like scamming your fans or begging for money. All you gotta do is just budget, use common sense, and live minimally until you are caught up on your debts that you self-inflicted. I'm done talking about Boogie from here on. Hopefully he'll do right by listening, but this video could be for nothing.